Hi, Reed Parks, product manager at Leviton for commercial lighting controls. I'm gonna show how to connect to wireless companion switches or dimmers to the sensor or room controller in the space and that'll be done using the app. You will need to have the Leviton Smart Sensor app. So what I'll first do is click on the app and we have multiple product lines that share this app. We have the wall box sensor, the fixture mount sensor, and then now the ceiling mount sensor. So I'm gonna select the appropriate product category, in this case, the ceiling mount sensor, and then I'll select, and it's gonna take me to a scan list and show all of the available devices in the area. I just have one device here, so it's only showing one. I'm gonna connect to that sensor and show you how to program the device. Once I'm connected to the sensor, I'm brought into this main settings page. So moving down the list, I'm gonna connect on the wireless companion section here. And I have one of our battery powered wireless companion dimmers that I'm going to pair to the sensor. So first thing I'll do, I'm gonna add a new companion. And here it's gonna tell me there's a little bit of work I need to do on the dimmer. To put it into pairing mode, I'm gonna press the top button five times, which will put this into pairing mode. So I'll go ahead and press that here and you'll see basically the green LED start to flash to show it's in pairing mode. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five. And basically the green light starts to blink. And now I'll continue with the app Next, the app is scanning for all of the available companion devices. Our recommendation is to only put one companion device in pairing mode at one time to make this process go as easy as possible. So with the companion device showing up, I'm gonna hit the plus button to add it and say I'd like to pair to that companion device. And now the pairing process begins. So the pairing is now complete and I'm asked if I want to pair additional companion devices to the sensor. You can pair up to four to a sensor. This is the only one I'm going to be doing today. So it's asking if I'd like to, com if I'd like to pair to another companion. I'm going to say no. And it just is now going to finalize the pairing process. So it's now showing uh, the companion devices that are already paired to this. Here's the new one I just added. And like our external input, you can also select the configuration, whether you want it to control the primary zone, secondary zone, both zones, or a network. Now, if this was just a single relay device, you would just have two options. You'd have primary zone and network. Now that we have our companion device paired with our sensor, if you go back to the main scan page, it will also show up on this page. It'll show that your device is paired with that sensor and it now becomes a group. Once devices are grouped, to do any changes to the schedule or, or to create schedules, you'll actually do it from this main scan page using the gearbox in the corner here. And here's where you can set up your schedules and behaviors.